hello out there thank you for watching our last video for all the likes and all the comments we're excited to know that uh people are out there looking and appreciate our effort but let's get into this video uh i'm going to talk about some of the cost breakdown on what we've spent so far on our solar and then i'm going to do a few question and answer toward the end and maybe some closing thoughts stick with us and enjoy the ride Hey everyone, I gotta apologize first thing. I was gonna try to stick everything into one video, but it just wouldn't fit. So we're gonna talk about the cost breakdown of the outside portion of our solar array. The first thing is that we're gonna talk about the solar panels. We bought 25 used Jenko 405 watt panels. We paid about $200 each and we broke one on the way home. So we have a total of 24 usable 405 watt panels and that totaled $5,000. All right, so next let's talk about the wires that connect the solar panels to the shipping container. I used MC4 connectors on everything. I opted to order two 100-foot cables and then cut them to length and put ends on them. So I bought a pair of crimpers that were $35. The 100-foot cables were $150 each, and the connectors or the ends for the MC4 were $12 per pack, and I bought two of them. So the total is... $359 for the wires and the connectors and the crimpers. Let's talk about some connecty thingies. I have Y connectors because we are running in both series and parallel for our strings of panels. And to run in parallel, you need a Y connector. I needed three of them and they come in a pack of four for $15. So that's what I went with. And then we have fuses alongside for each string of panels. We have a 15 amp fuse as well just to make sure nothing runs too hot. Those were $15 for a set of four. And then we also have three cutoff switches, which were originally supposed to be in the order from Iron Ridge vendors. But that vendor just declined to mention that they didn't have them in stock and nor did they even carry them. So when we went to pick it up, they're like, oh yeah, well, sorry, we don't carry them, expecting that we were going to get them. So we didn't have all the parts. I had to scurry to try to get... Uh, figure out which switches I was going to run at that point because they just didn't give it to us. So we were incomplete. So these are the ones that I came up with. There's a link below. Those are the ones that I like. So far, so good. We ordered one, liked it, it worked. So then we ordered two more and those are on deck to go in. And those switches run about $87. So we bought three of them for $260.64. Which brings our grand total for connecty thingies up to $290.64. All right, now let's get into the nitty gritty of the mounting, right? The Iron Ridge rails and hardware. Total, it was $3,435.61. I'll throw the quote up here. You can pause it and take a look at it if you want. Otherwise, you can just keep rolling through. The next thing we have to talk about, we have to talk about the three inch galvanized schedule 40 steel pipe that we used it was expensive more expensive than i thought it was going to be so the total of it came out to be three thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars and we picked it up so we didn't have to pay any delivery fees we picked it up with my trailer um and then on the way back we also picked up concrete bags which those concrete bags were about five dollars a bag and i think we used um somewhere in the neighborhood of $60 worth of concrete to set those poles in the ground. And last but not least, we have a Harbor Freight auger that we bought. It was uh, about $265, including the extensions. That way we could get the holes deep enough. Here's the fun part. This whole system can be yours for one low, low price of $12,576.25. And that cost only encompasses the parts that are on the outside of the shipping container. All of the stuff that's on the inside of the container we'll do in another video. So let's get into some questions and answers. One of the questions that we've got is, is it complete? No, it is not complete. We still have to trench the lines um, under the ground from the array to the shipping container. And we still need to run the 100-foot cable. I have one more on deck and two more of those switches to hook up the last 12 panels that I have to two more charge controllers. So that still needs to be completed. 
how deep did we go for our uprights? We went about two foot to two and a half foot for each one. And then we used about a bag and a half of concrete on each one of them. And then mixed a little bit of dirt and slurry on top of that. So we think because of the position of it with the shipping container blocking the wind from the north and the fact that most of the time the wind comes from the south, which is actually pushing down, that we've got enough support in there and going that deep. Because there was no way we were going to be able to get those poles eight feet deep in the ground, which is what our plans had called for. The next question we get asked is, how do we keep it secure from theft? Um, the best we can do is put a camera out there. We're in an area where most people are pretty honest. We haven't had any issues yet, of course, knock on wood, but, um, we're reviewing to see how well this camera does and hopefully we get to spend more time out there. And last but not least, we've been asked about return on investment. Our return on investment we're guessing is somewhere around just over two years. And the reason for that is we're in California right now. Our utility bill, the lowest it'll ever be, is $250. And during the summer, we, we've reached you know $800 to $900 multiple times. So if you figure we, we spend about $500 a month in utilities for this house, then that would pay it off around the two-year mark. Please keep the questions coming. Thank you for all the support. We appreciated everything on the last video and all the comments and likes and views. It makes us feel like we're doing something right. Uh, let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.